guys, I'm working on one of my main computer, right? And actually, this one is a mini one, and we are getting a problem because I did over the system. So we are getting a problem. We are getting this error when we update. Actually, I'm switching this from 32 bit to 64. So we are getting a Windows update problem. And I have been trying to figure out if it's a firewall that is blocking one of the server or something, right? But it seems not to be a firewall related issue. I'm actually going to show you how to fix this. This is the error that we are getting, the error code 872EFE. Actually, you want to head over to your browser and you will want to look for the update agent, right? So you want to download the update agent. I just did. So I downloaded the update agent here, right? I hit download, I downloaded it and it will come with two versions, which is the 32 bit and the 64. So we are going to install the 64 and this should fix our updating issues. Actually my monitor, this one is a bit, this one have some issues. So if you're seeing that it is showing like that, it is because there's an issue with this. So after you extracted the folder, right, it should be at documents. We're going to go open. So, so guys, if at first the first one did not work, you want to download a different version. As you can see, the one that we downloaded at first seems like it was for Windows 8. So we went back and we downloaded this one, which is for all 64-bit uh, operating system here. So we downloaded it a while ago. It is actually updating now. And this should fix the issue. Now we can restart our computer. The reason why I'm switching from the 32 bit is because actually I have a lot of software that require a 64 bit to run. So I'm going to upgrade this computer from 32 bit to 64. Then after I'm going to actually use the Windows 10. I'm going to update this to Windows 10 so you can just take a look at it it's a mini PC 4 gig of RAM and SSD hard drive also have a wireless card as well so this is wireless as well have the Ethernet cable VGA power cable flash drive I have a keyboard hook up to this and also the wireless mouse so the computer is on we are going to update now. So let's update. You can see that we have another error here, right? So I'm not too certain where this new error came from, but as I opened the update, I saw the error, but this should be working and it should resolve the issue in which we had earlier, unable to update the system. So normally when you're doing your update, this normally takes some time to update. As you can see, I still have some drivers to install. And I really want to do so using the Windows update. It is more easier. You get all the essential drivers update from Windows. So 
this is it it may take a few minutes for you to see the drivers showing up and this actually fixed the issue so what i'll be doing i'll be pausing the video and resume the video after right so that i don't board you in any way because this might take a while to search for all the needed drivers so guys you can actually see our update is all here and what we're going to do we're going to install the important updates then we are going to install where you see optional we are going to install the important updates you can see windows server language package there as well but we are just going to install what is important to us in terms of what i selected here and these updates here so that's what i'm going to do i hope that this video was helpful so do like share and subscribe